Hello and welcome to Coaster Strike. My name is Tom, and in today's video, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of the Frontier Workshop and all the different features that it has. Since I noticed in the comments there were some people who weren't quite sure how to download Draugr, which I recently uh, released a POV of the ride, which will be in the top right corner right now. So you've obviously got the home screen with all the most popular creations, which you'll notice haven't really changed over time, that's because it's based on ratings and stuff that's seen as rated. But you've got the My Profile section, where you've got everything that you've... all of your subscriptions, which is the things that you've downloaded in the past. You've got your favourites, favorites, which is the things that you've favourited. Uh, then you've also got a button to upload a creation, so once you've made a blueprint of something, you can find it in here. Uh, as long as you've saved it as a blueprint and then you've also got the my upload section which is everything that you've uploaded and yes this is a shameless plug for my workshop now on the browse section this is where I really want to look at but you've got all the different sections you've got everything though uh, and here if you press Y or triangle on a PlayStation you can then search specific things in this search bar so you won't be able to see me typing because that's how Xbox clips are recorded uh, but you, if I search for myself, my Xbox name, you'll see that nothing comes up. Uh, Crystal Cube 789, please don't go around like searching that, but yeah, yeah you know, nothing comes up, uh, not any of my creations. But if you wanted to get to my profile as someone else to see what we've made, see what I've made, then uh, you can search for one of my creations, which will come up, Draugr, again the POV. Uh, and then if you can subscribe to it, download it, rate it, and maybe even favourite it, uh, if you really like it. But then if you go to the author button and click on the player, then you can view their Xbox profile or you can look at everything they've made. Um, so that's quite handy if you're looking for a friend's stuff that you want to see. Uh, so if I go on to Bezo Juju is the one who's made all this Star Wars stuff, which is really incredible, even if it does take up about 30% of your counter. Uh, <laughs> it's quite limiting. I don't know, I haven't downloaded all of it, I've only downloaded the Millennium Falcon, but yeah, I don't see that leaving anytime soon. And then obviously you can pick specific things, so coasters, or shops and facilities, or track rides. Uh, but yeah, then you've got all these different tags which you can apply, so you can choose whether you want it to have been made in sandbox or a challenge, with money or without. Then you've got all this different scenery, and all these tags are added by people, so it doesn't really matter what they actually mean, it's just what it means to people. So if you think, like, what someone would call station scenery, might not actually be station scenery, uh, but that's what they call it. And you've got the different sizes of buildings, different types of coasters, you can't search for specific coasters, and then all the different types of track rides, different types of rides, and all the different types of shops and facilities. So those are all the different tags that you can use to search for something. Uh, but yeah, so... Don't, don't know what else to show, that's about it. Uh, but yeah, so on the My Uploads, I've got lots of different stuff. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, it's just a quick little rundown because it isn't the best design ever. Uh, it's okay. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Um, and I'll see you all next time.